G'day there guys, it's, uh, it's me Munga Fumina and it's time for the Daily Diary. Your favourite time of day and my favourite time of day. I've uh, just stopped at the Big Banana here in Coffs Harbour. Um, it's over there somewhere, it's literally right behind that tree, over the fence there. You can see some bananas up there. But um, I was hoping I could actually kind of just park closer to it and I can go. There's the Big Banana. But, that's not how it works. So, I'm actually just out the front of the ice skating rink that's here. But uh, I thought I'd stop with the big banana mainly because I was in Queensland and they call them banana benders. So I thought that was a little bit of a funny joke. But uh, that's how fucking funny I am. <laughs> but, um, I thought I'd just talk about all the things I noticed. Uh, in uh, in around the Gold Coast there, and one of them is that there's an obscene amount of tattoo uh, shops. Like one one place doesn't need so many tattoo shops, and it makes you wonder: is there just a high demand for people that want to get tattooed on the Gold Coast, or or what? And are they any good? Probably not. But I'm sure some of them are very good. Like some of the best in the country, I'm sure. Everyone has a tan. Everyone. Everyone that lives up in and around it has a tan. And not just like a bit of a tan, like... They're very, very tanned. And I never really thought about, like... When you go... Travelling overseas people always notice Australians because like the tan's one thing. You know, you look at people down around Newcastle where you look, you know, what is it like they got tan. But they're not tan compared to the Queenslanders. They're tanned. Like Gold Coast, they're all tanned. Like I used to think having a tan was cool. I don't know, like I don't know why. I guess that's um, society and all that sort of stuff. But that was all before social media. Yeah, these days I don't care. Like I've got tattoos now. I'd rather protect my skin and the uh, the artwork that I've spent a bit of money on. Well, like this one girl I read during the show, she walked past, and the guy next in the store next to me, who I'm sure um, they lived. They, like, they seemed like the people that had lived through the gold, like lived on the Gold Coast before it was like really popular, or when it first started getting popular, they lived there, and just all the drugs and partying and just like massive orgies or something. They just seemed like that, that kind of people. And like this girl walked past, and uh, he commented on a tan, and I was, I just thought it was an unusual thing to do. I used to think it was an attractive thing as well, but the older I get, the more I lean towards like pale. I like pale skin more than girls with a tan. I'm not sure why. But anyway, I'm going to keep going. Got plenty of uh, driving still to be done. So peace, love, and respect. It's a good show, and I've got the apple.